Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I'm here with a project share. I have to hold the camera because it's just too big to get it in frame. So if um, it's a little shaky, you'll um, have to bear with me. But this is a, um, a single piece banner that I made out of a vintage um, curtain, a piece of a curtain valance, and if I um, turn it over, it will show you better what the shape of the valance looked like. So this was the shape of it, and I just covered it in this fabric, and I put this stretchy lace over the top. I put this lace going around the sides and the bottom, like that and then I just have my um, handmade tag on there so let me put it back and I to hang it up what I did to keep it simple was I took the ends of the stretchy pieces and I made them into a loop so that if um, it was to be hung on the wall you could just use one of those little nails that barely makes a mark and just hang it up on the loop on each end so there's one of those loops on both ends so let me start at the top um, I covered the front of it in a um, if you, I don't know if you can see it but this is also a vintage um, piece underneath and you really can't see much of it because actually this piece on top of it is um, a wide um, piece of like cut work so it's really hard um, you know to see the different layers but on the top I started off by putting this layer and then I added this layer over it and these are all vintage and then I added this layer over it and I don't honestly know if that is or not and then I put this Venice um, trim over that and then I added the flat back pearls just to finish it off and then in this corner I put wild orchid craft roses and then a bling center and then I did the same thing over on this side. Oh, and I forgot to show you on the other side that the um, bling center, I put these little um, tassels. So you can see that. I don't want to do it too fast to make you sick. And right there. And then the next thing I did was I added some laces to the bottom and I added this pink lace here and then this really pretty lace here I'll show you right there and then I added these um, appliques in sorry in different spots and right there. I kind of kept it uniform and um, I kept it as simple as I could. I didn't want to over embellish this. Um, I took the Prima Angels that spelled out dream and uh, underneath those is one of these doilies. These were um, my one of my favorite doilies that I had found in an antique shop um, there were like four or five squares of them and uh, I don't know if I have any left I might have used the last of them if I have any left I only have a couple but um, I did want to use them because I thought they were perfect for this project so each one of the um, letters for dream has uh, the doily behind it and then I put some of my favorite doodad flowers here here and there and then on the bottom let me just see if I can shake this out so I can show you 
this isn't like the best way to do the video, but I don't know how else to to do it. But um, on the bottom, I ran this tassel trim to go the way of the fabric. This is this was the bottom of the fabric. So there's the tassel trim, and then there's this Venice trim that I used, and then I used these. Um, rhinestone centers and these are from Wild Orchid Crafts and then I added the pearl in the middle of each one. So that's the bottom of it. So as I said um, I kept it as simple as I could just because I didn't want to um, take away from anything by putting too much on on the um, banner but I thought it came out pretty good I like the I really like the shape of it and I like um, I like the um, Prima Angels on there so this is it this is the dream banner and I hope you like it let me know what you think leave a comment if you'd like and I will be back again soon so thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.